violently ripped through a wormhole, their ship damaged, and most of their crewmates dead, a battered band of explorers finds themselves stranded in the unnerving fringes of the universe. They've crash-landed on an unknown planet and have managed to become infected with parasitic spore-based life forms. All that matters now is getting everyone back to the lab for a deep delousing. But as with all things on bizarre, sticky, and frankly unsettling worlds, nothing about that is going to be easy. For starters, Tom's endurance has run out, which means he's dead. Well, not dead, but very, very unconscious. Furthermore, the team's trust is low, which means many of their personalities are manifesting poorly. But if they don't pull together, this parasite could knock them out for good. Unlike the others, however, Teresa gets a spike of clarity and purpose when trust is low, and with this, extra focus. She decides to channel that into energy, which she uses to carry Tom, still unconscious, to the laboratory. That was easy. Not so fast. Unfortunately, the lab was constructed next to an incandescent slime river. Wait, are you serious? And it's causing hallucinations. You gotta be... Are there rainbows coming out of your face? Although Teresa no longer has any awareness... I love you, oatmeal dragon. She has just enough lucidity to use her wonder to unearth some raw materials, which she shares with Mark across planet through the suit's phantom mass network. Mark will never be able to make it to the lab in time on foot. And with Tom unconscious and Teresa hallucinating, the team's hopes for survival are dwindling fast. But Mark isn't giving up. He uses those resources to concoct a pearlescent, time-slowing inhalant and grabs an explosive little seed pod, which detonates and sends him flying hundreds of feet in the air. With time slowed due to the inhalant, he gracefully maneuvers his descent and lands at the lab with the others. Although a little nauseous, Mark has enough awareness to delouse the team and save everyone from the exuberantly parasitic infection. A minor victory, but their journey is only just beginning. Many harrowing, bizarre, and wondrous adventures await as they explore the farthest reaches of existence, planet by planet, working together to survive.